All right, I'm gonna have to straight up apologize to Philips because they sent me this monitor and it was 900 and something dollars and it's been down here for months. Also, the color is probably off because of the way the GoPro works. I might fix it, I might not. Anyway, this is the 329 M1 RV. I know that because it's written here. And it's a 32 inch 4K 144 Hertz gaming monitor specifically designed to help with the xbox by the way wallpaper in the wallpaper horde and mouse pad which i knew you'll note the mouse is not who puts who could do that mouse is there um also available in the description and i've been using it down here for months and the reason this monitor is down here is because if you're going to test it with 144 hertz you need to test it on your computer directly like you can't have it on a 30 foot cable so there's my computer that's my main motherfucker that does all my video encoding and all my vr this is the vr space in the basement there's the speaker testing arena hold on i'm on a bouncy ball that's the speaker testing arena over there then there's this sort of separation with the with the poles and i put the straps around the literally metal straps are just holding these with friction and then the you know thirty five hundred dollars worth of computer is up there it is senpai certified and um, so that's my main beast computer with the 6800 XT. And so coming out of it is a display port cable that goes whoop straight into this. This has a display port, three HDMIs and a USB hub, which currently has the keyboard, which by the way, Epo Maker Mini Cat 64, 60% hot swappable acrylic. It's very RGB and very cute. That's why I'm using it. Um, in use i have a bunch of keyboards i might start a keyboard channel so many companies are like hey we have keyboards you want keyboards and i'm like i don't know if i want keyboards do i want keyboards do you guys want to see me review keyboards because this is a gaming thing and i feel like this particular one isn't a gaming thing but it's a gaming thing still got to do my gaming thing 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 oh this piece of paper before i get on to the actual i may have to stop this video and get some stuff this piece of paper has been sitting next to this monitor for months cats drooled on it or something this is the Smart Uniformity Data Sheet. Uh, this is the, these are the numbers. And they, they tested this monitor, this monitor with this serial number before they sent it out. I've never gotten one of, sheet, one of these sheets before, but it's showing you the color uniformity based on center and brightness uniformity. The, the brightness uniformity is 98% is in the upper left. Then 100%, 100%, 100%, 99% there. I was 99s. So this is like, this is serious. By the way, this I said this was a $900 monitor. Since I decided months later to do the review, lowest price in 30 days, $620 fucking nine dollars is an insane savings. I, I was, I'm actually kind of upset because I'm like, oh, I got this cool free $900 monitor. Oh, only $629, but then I remember it's like, oh, I'm going to give you some, some real honesty right now. I get monitors and TVs all the time. And as an owner, or a previous owner, my FW900 is sort of in the shit the bed. Um, the one I didn't sell shit the bed. Uh, I can tell you I'm a bit of a video file as top of being an audio file. Like, I'll turn my projector on, and every few months I'll be like, no. And open up all the calibration images, and by eye, adjust every single aspect Four times, because you got to adjust it, then go back and erase it and go back and adjust it. And say, no, 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 no. So I will obsessively adjust. Let me see how the camera is. Is it working? Is it looking good? Is it too blue? Actually, one sec. Okay, so now we go. So I will obsessively go over a monitor's color calibration, because they all suck from factory. This one didn't suck from factory. I barely had to touch it. The, just that fact alone m makes this Philips fucking a godsend. And one of the things this Philips has, and it's hard to demonstrate, is it has the, oh, like, like this camera narrow now, it has the LEDs, because it's Philips. You know, Philips Hue, the Philips thing. So it can actually, I have to enable it, because I disabled it, because I was watching TV back there, and it was just getting bad. Um, the control nipple, hi, the control nipple, is back here and then all your connections are underneath and it's got this really cool stand hold on i don't know if i can put this on my head but the stand is just 
Okay, I can't seem to adjust it. All right, switching back out of narrow. Now that you've, I'll go back and forth. Give me a sec. I'm doing linear now. Uh, that might make people puke, but it keeps it square. So this, yeah, it does just slide. It was just stuck. This just, it just has a, a ball bearing weight distribution. God, there's dust on it to adjust the fucking height. And then it has a hinge there to adjust the angle. And the base for this, because I carry this monitor. Um, I went to a, a LAN party in Pennsylvania. And the base to this monitor, this fucking thing is hewn out of a solid piece of metal. It weighs more than the whole screen, which is good, but also quite annoying. Because it feels like you're going to rip it off. Like, if you just pick the screen up by the by the screen like you normally do, it feels like you're going to break something. Because this thing weighs so much. So you have to pick it up by this. And it's a T-shape. So you can actually extend it like I'm extending it off the desk right now. At some point, it'll be too far and it'll flip. But I've it's literally hanging th three inches off the desk because this weighs so much and the screen is still over it. It's like that scissor trick where you hang, no, you hang a hammer with like a rubber band and it looks like it's gonna fall, but it's not because of the center of gravity. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm off the, uh, there, I've literally, I've hit the thing. I'm nice that I'm between two poles, but that's fucking weird. I didn't even try to do this before. That's actually the way I might keep it. So I slide this forward again. You could raise this up again. Um, I'm kind of broken now because I've used a 40 inch 4k forever and I like 40 inches. F I had a 43, the dot pitch was too big. 40 was like perfect. It's a Samsung. It was a $300 television, but having this and having this that you could whip it out and literally do this. Because I only have 60 hertz on the fucking camera. So you don't understand what 144 hertz looks like. It's fluid. There, it's just like that, that, that screen is going from there to there. And every fucking microsecond, it's like boom, boom, boom. It's rendering the screen. As a person who grew up playing games and running things on CRTs, when we switched to LCDs, I was kind of sad. It was kind of shit because CRTs were so much better. Zero delay, zero motion. They were great. And then all these little 15 inch fuckers came out and it was like, look at it. It's a flat panel. I don't give a shit. It's garbage. We're finally at a point and this is not OLED, but I am finally at a point where it's like, you know what? This is, this, this is better. This is better than my CRT was. Maybe not in the, like the colors are, are, the colors are brilliant. They'll never, they won't beat a CRT for a bit, but I've got, op I opened up Dragon Ball Fighter Z because I haven't played this yet. I actually just updated it and I can't play it because it won't let me play it. Oh, wait, it did a thing. I'm hitting escape, did a thing. I want to go up. I want to, I got to get my controller. Let me go get my controller and we'll fight some CPU shit and I'll tell you how it looks because I feel like it's going to make me just cream. All right, before we go and actually have fun with a controller, um, let's go through the settings that are available. Hopefully my camera will point directly at it and don't be stupid. Ambiglow, I've turned on. So uh, I don't have a wall and I've got this light sort of cooking at us, but you can see there is, it's very annoying if you're at a LAN party, by the way, so shut that shit off but it has the full Philips Ambiglow backing built into it, which is nice. It's good for your eyes at, uh, at night. If you have a white wall back there, you don't have this bright screen and nothing. You wanna have a bright screen and sort of like a, a lit surround. That's why if I say, Echo, turn on Narberth backlight, you'll see a little light comes on behind the screen. And that's just a standard, uh, that's actually fluorescent that I, it's like a grow light but I'm not growing anything. But just that at night, if I'm down here watching shit echo, turn off basement 10. See, look, it just glows nicely back there. Um, 
that's what this is for. It's just it's for eye strain and to be cool. You could set it to all sorts of different settings. Let me actually get see if this actually works. Uh, cool. Do your thing. It's loading. So anyway, we'll go back to this menu. So hitting up and down. It's up, down, left, right, in and out. It's kind of annoying to turn the monitor on because I turn it on. You have to just press it in once and you're done. To turn it off, you have to press it in and hold it. But you have to do so without accidentally leaning to a direction. Because as soon as you go a direction, it opens this, and then you have to let go and reset to actually turn it off. So I've gotten very good at finding the nipple from the back and like pressing it in perfectly. So the Ambiglow settings, and this is real cool, we have text. Great. Okay, so Ambiglow, follow video, follow audio. I would demonstrate the speakers in this, but I'm not gonna, it's garbage. Um, Follow video, follow audio, color shift, so it'll just change RGB like the fucking keyboard's currently doing. But the keyboard's a cute cat, so I'm leaving it. Color wave, color breathing, because everyone likes Demon Slayer. Starry night, because everyone likes headphones. Static mode, which means just one color, then you pick the color, the position, and the speed, and then brightness settings. I believe the brightness is set to the brightest. There's, br There's bright, brighter, and brightest, instead of high, medium, low. But that's fine, I guess. And then there's off, which is what I had it on because, well, there's no wall and it was just literally annoying. Then you have game settings, which you have adaptive sync. You've got MPRT level, which is currently disabled. You can turn a crosshair on in case you want to be that fucking guy who now should have a crosshair. Oh, the crosshair didn't go on. Got to click it. Click. Oh, I'm sorry. So to select, you have to hit right. It's not click in, it's not just select, you have to write and then it picks the fucking thing you want to do. So right, so now the crosshair is on. Uh, low input lag is on, but it's a disabled feature. Smart response is off. Smart frame is also off. Read the manual. Honest to God, I read the manual for this thing. It's like 75 pages and I've completely forgotten most of it. Uh, blue, low blue mode which is currently off is for night viewing, uh, removes the blue so you can actually fall asleep because blue is what the sky is. So human beings are like, I see blue, it's still daytime when it's, it's legitimately two in the morning right now. Um, so you don't want that, but I'm leaving it off because we're doing a video. Uh, input, here are your inputs. There is a USB-C I forgot about. So there's HDMI 1.2.3, 2.1, and then there's DisplayPort, which is currently, there is a USB-C port, which is video, so I could actually bring my laptop down here and hook up USB-C to my to this and get it to be another monitor. And then it's auto select, which I don't want because it'll freak out. There's the crosshair, which has been added. So I don't think Goku needs a crosshair, but there is a crosshair that's built into the monitor going at the exact center of the monitor. And it's a pretty fucking big one. Like I wonder how well that's gonna actually sync up with most games. But the fact that it's there is kind of interesting. So now we're off of that. Blue load, done, input mode. HDMI refresh rate, you get to pick per input, well, at least per HDMI input. HDMI 1 is 144, then 120, 120, because some sources will have different abilities and you'll be able to adjust that. You get your picture mode, which is smart image, smart image HDR, brighten it. Look, 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 look at this. I'm Zeos fucking Pantera. I'm Zeo's Pantera. The brightness is 50. The contrast is 50. The sharpness is 30. But that's sharpness is usually a weird number when they said it. The fact that these two fucking things are 50 is mind boggling. Nothing stays at 50. Everything needs to be tweaked and adjusted to be perfect. And it's perfect. It's just perfect. It's fucking perfect without me adjusting it. What the fuck? Saturation, 50. Smart contrast off, gamma 2.2, overscan off. That's nuts. All right, uh, PPP, which is a uh, picture by picture. So you could do two separate things and then swap them. If you wanted to do that, I wouldn't see a reason for it. Smart size is not selectable. Audio is not great. There's DTS sound, there's true volume HD. You could turn on the EQ, you could do all the things you want to do. It doesn't help. Um, color, color temperature, 6,500K. Uh, oh my God, sRGB makes it so much brighter. We don't want that. There's also user define, which is just, is basically 100, 100, 100. It looks exactly the same as color temperature. 
I love how the and then you have you could if you want bluer or warmer. Sixty five hundred is the correct is the sun. There's a cat on my table over there. What are you doing over there, Drake? You see him? What are you doing? His brother went missing a couple days ago outside, so he's sort of going through a, a transitional period. He's his brother's and he's probably not eaten, but he's just being a cat. Um, OSD display. So here, if you want to move the OSD more, you do over, then select. Wait, how the fuck does that work? Oh, then it's up and down to adjust. So we could slide this over. We could slide it up and down. Transparency. We can make it real transparent or no transparent, which I guess for the video, no is better. And the timeout is set to 60 seconds, which is the longest you can set it to. And then USB is high speed data or high high resolution. High speed data? What would you do with that? For the for the USB hub, maybe? Because I have the USB hub. There's a four port USB hub in the back, and I've got one cable coming down plugged into it. And then I've got the Xbox controller, this keyboard, and this mouse, which again, don't put the mouse uh, put the mouse there, um, in it. So that should be helping. And um then you have standby mode for USB, and then KVM is set to auto, USB-C, or USB up. Again, look that up. And then your setup is simply Keck reset and information. I know what Keck stands for. I just, I don't remember at this particular notice moment. What's my information say? Hold on. Oh, it tells me the serial number, and I'm currently at 4K at 144 hertz with adaptive sync. So now we're done. I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to put this on because I think this is probably gonna help with my mental capabilities. Um, is this playing? Let me see, because this is Windows still, right? We still got, do I have access? Do I have fucking access? Windows key M, it's undo. If I do that and I do this, there's no like button that brings it out. So it's very annoying. There we go. I can minimize everything. Back to her. Let me just check my... I'll, I'll, I'll set it to the output of this, which is... Oh, God. This is going to be so bad. I don't know if it's going to switch automatically with the game. So just walking around, I notice a little bit of blurring in the bricks. I actually don't even know. You know what? I don't even know if this is set to play at 144 hertz. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to check some shit. I mean... There are speakers. I wouldn't listen to music on it, but for the purposes of, like, I just need to hear the thing, the I... It's been a while since I played this, by the way. I'm going to get my fucking ass handed to me. I don't even know how... I don't even... I don't even know what I'm doing! That's a thing. How do I fight people? Oh, I'm gonna have to stop the camera again and figure out how to fight people, aren't I? Oh, this is the internet. I don't wanna go on the internet. There's real people there. Here we go, battle. Uh, begin battle, boom. That's me. Jesus Christ, here we go. So we're gonna just... The brightness, it, like the colors are fucking vivid. Better than any other display I've got. Even that bang cue I still have. And like the brightness is super fucking high. Oh, Piccolo's my man. Alright, yeah, color, yeah, I don't care. I don't care, go. I literally oh, let's go with something colorful. Islands. If you haven't played this game, by the way, I paid nearly a hundred dollars for this with all the shit, and I never play it because no one's here to play it with me. And so I'm going to use that hundred dollars of investment to show you this display, which this is like 12 FPS right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Here we go. Oh my, this game looks fucking phenomenal. 
By the way, there's no setting of the dis I'm getting my ass handed to me. Legitimately. Wait, I did a thing. I did a thing. Are you looking at this? How fucking good this game looks? It's fucking stupid. I just lost, and it was the most amazing loss I've ever taken in my life. Alright, the speed of it's refreshing, and like the delay... I I could feel the delay as one millisecond. Oh my god. How do I do things? Alright, this is absolutely bizarre and absurd, and I've died again. Wow, I died so bad. Alright, one more shot. Z reviews are usually like 30 minutes long anyway, so... I'm Kid Boo, how could I lose? To the Ginyu Force. This is bullshit. Sound off like you got a pair. Even button mashing should do better than this. This is spectacular looking. This is better than any arcade you've ever been to. Not in sound. If I, if I, let me just wire up the LS60s real quick, and then we'd have sound, or I could just switch straight to this. All right, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop. Just stop playing. I hit the Xbox button. That was a mistake. I can find literally almost no fault with this display. Even the speakers, I get, I shit in them, but they're not. They work. Everything works. Just, just moving my mouse around with no lag. I'm, I'm the old fuck that doesn't understand, like, oh my god, did you see this? Look how fast I can move this screen around. Like, Jesus. It's the best display I have in the house, for sure. And I've got a $900 BenQ, and I thought that was, like, color accurate. And it, it's, uh, no, it pales in comparison to what this Philips can do. And it's just... I can't believe it's so cheap. The only thing it's missing is I would love... You can... I think you can unbolt it from the uh, stand and turn it vertical with the height adjustment. I think if you put it up all the way and you dis dis disconnected it physically and reconnected, you could have it vertical. But this isn't a rotating base. I would love if it was because that would just make life so much easier. Um... The nipple, you get used to the nipple and the way the menu works is fine. Uh, HDR does its own little thing. Like, uh, Windows has got HDR issues. Everyone fucking knows that. I don't have an Xbox to actually try this on an Xbox. But when my monitor upstairs goes, because it's currently um, turning blue in all sorts of places, I'll probably end up taking this off the stand and putting it on my monitor arm and using this. And it, it's almost enough. It's almost enough. Because it's, what it's got to do is it, it's a real estate and eye thing. Like, it's, it's, I'm getting real close just to show you detail. But it's like, it's so good. By the way, AI never draws hands like sloppy like that. Like, that's what it needs to be. You know, this is, this is the monitor. This is the best monitor in my house right now. That's certainly that's working because my GDMFW 900 is not working. So, other than it being a little bit heavy to carry around, which makes it a little bit awkward, but it's it's got everything I want, and it it does way better than I thought it would. I'll give you the full the full walk around. Look how bright those are. If I echo, turn off basement lights. If I turn off all the basement lights, and then disable this guy up here again like that'll probably blind you and you can disable the bottom light if you want you can disable the sections of it so yeah no this this is the best display and everyone i didn't even consider phillips for like a cool gaming monitor 
fuck cool gaming monitor. I don't know of any other gaming monitor, and I haven't ordered them all, so I wouldn't know if that comes with a with a color uniformity sheet. That would that, and then just have everything be perfect when you pull out of the box. It's a miracle. This is a fucking miracle. And I'm sorry, Phillips, I didn't actually review it when it was brand new. But you know what? Just saved everybody 30%. Go to Amazon, buy it right now. Um, thank you for studying it out. A patron subscribe star. Uh, support this channel. Ooh, creepy Zeus. Patreon and subscribe star. Help support this channel. I'm not editing this out. Uh, five dollars a month lets you see reviews early, participate in yard sales, and get to the Sound of Oasis, uh, where I can play any music and use any wallpaper, making that look tame. Um, and ten dollars a month for the private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat, where you can talk to other creators, talk to me, and you get into a lifetime swap me channel where you can buy, sell, and trade gear. It doesn't matter if it's uh, AV or VA or your xbox i don't care um so it's that and check out the hyphen guides forum check out the sponsorship link in the description and thank you for subscribing if you subscribe subscribe i don't usually say that but youtube's being dicks so i might have to say things because youtube's a dick don't make angry videos i'm a dick um wallpaper in the horde and i finally got this review done i can't believe it and i will see you all in the next one that by the way in the wallpaper horde along with every other wallpaper i've ever used uh, support the original artists. Search them out on saucenow.com or IQDB, and you'll find usually find the original artists, and you can go patronize them individually, like I do. And uh, yeah, and don't forget the mouse pad in the description. And I'll even link to this this fucking thing. If you're gonna go RGB keyboard, go the stupidest, happiest RGB keyboard, and I'll see you all next time. See the cow? Touch it now.